Hi guys, this is Jason here from Nathaniel. In this lesson, we are basically going to look at a lot of things in the topic of rhythm. Yes, you are going to learn a melody, you are going to learn an incredible chord progression which I like to use very often. Uh, I'm not going to talk so much on the theory of those things though as I normally do in the lesson because I want to talk a lot about rhythm and more on how you can feel rhythm and how you can pump rhythm and make it sound almost like an engine you know like a you know a, any vehicle whether it's a train whether it's a aeroplane or a truck or a tractor I like tractors tend to have a very nice rhythm going on you know if you stop at the signal and if you observe one or if you're in a farm or something you'll hear that interesting motor like sound so uh, i'm inspired from a lot of those noises or those rhythm patterns and it you try to create a very organic flavor when you're playing a standard rhythm pattern which is printed you know using notation it'll be it'll look very very plain and simple but then you can do a few things on the piano to make it sound a lot more intense a lot more epic a lot more thematic and i've also used the opportunity to use this lesson as a platform to help you develop finger independence now listen carefully finger independence not hand independence yes hand independence is what a lot of us piano people teachers and students are like we all try to practice hand independence but finger independence is another important thing so you're going to learn finger independence you're going to learn this engine like rhythm which i'm going to show you and we are going to cap the whole thing off with a nice melody which you heard me play in the intro video which was something like you'll also notice that the melody was quite simple that's because everything else was so complex and dense so the melody didn't have to do much it's more like a thematic let's say a, a string ensemble could play that it's quite long it's the rhythm which is very pumping before we get started it'll be awesome if you could hit that bell icon for notifications whenever we release a new lesson i'm sure some of you who've been visiting our channel regularly realize that we release quite a few lessons sometimes 2 to 4 every week and there's always a riff pretty much every day so it'll be good if you can hit that bell and subscribe if you haven't already you could also consider following us on patreon this entire lesson will be notated and yeah all of my handwritten notes and instructions will also be there for this lesson and whatever we do in the future right let's get cracking so the first thing i want you to practice is a finger independence drill in your left hand okay let me start you off by just taking the note g sharp also known as a flat and just playing them pinky and thumb together just that and i would recommend to play this along with me and stick around till the end of the lesson you're going to go in a stepwise motion and make this melody sound really really epic you could use your pedal or no pedal up to you right now i'm using the pedal i could also lift the pedal sounds quite cool so exercise 1 or job number 1 would just be to play pulses quarter notes or crotchets if you will in your left hand with two g sharps and now let's move forward so this is the next challenge what happened here now my pinky is sticking on the g sharp while the thumb is continuing to play the pulse got it 1 2 4 so earlier both were together now we are going right now bring the pinky back but not to play with the thumb but to play minims what are minims half notes so half notes would be 1 2 3 4 
two, three, four. So you see the pinky is hitting in half notes or minims. Two, three, four. At the one and the three. The one and the three. A one, two, three. Okay. Now you can speed this up. Now, now what's happening? We are now doing eighth notes, right? You can count it as one and two and three and four and, and two and three and four and one and two and. Now you could also hold this for four or one for every two. See what's happening? This is striking at a different point as this. In some cases, they are hitting together. One, two, three, four. Or one and two and three. So this is essentially the, the foundation of this pattern. Okay. So the max we are going inside the beat is one and two and three and four. And how much are we going into? We are going by dividing the beat by two so you could play around you could go you can change different notes I'm on the G sharp minor mode minor scale E comes very nicely D sharp just play around with some of those notes F sharp, maybe a B, C sharp, E, D sharp, and you could also hold the pinky down one for every four. One pinky for every four thumbs. I never thought I'll say something like that, but it's true, I think. One pinky for every four thumbs, or Two pinkies for every four thumbs. Okay. I'm sure you'll agree with me that this is sounding a bit boring. Well, where's the right hand? It's still yet to come. So hang on. Okay. So I hope you've got that deal. Now, in the right hand, what you're going to do is now we are going to elevate the time field. We are going to go even more deeper. So right now we have one and two and three. I want to go more inside. So what do I do? I can say... 1E and a 2E and a 3E and a 4E and a nice strategy would be take some time off with a shaker and go something like 1E and a 2E and a 3E and a 4E and a 1E and and while you do this 1E, e, try to focus on different rhythm hit points so 1, 2, 3, 4, 1E and, 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 1E, uh, 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 uh. Uh, that's the uh, one e. Uh, 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 e, e, one e, uh, one e, uh, one e. So one e, two, uh, one e, two, uh, one e, two. You see, I'm almost grooving with my voice. I'm I'm saying the other stuff soft. One e and a two e and a. I'm not saying it at the same volume. So one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and all right. So what am I going to target in my right hand? Well, one and the ands are covered here. Or the on beat and the and beats are covered. So let me try the a. Uh. So one e and a, uh, three and a, uh, three and a, uh, three and a. Uh. First, enunciate it with your voice. One e and a, uh, three and a, uh, three and a, uh, four and a, uh, one e and a, uh, a. Uh. Okay. One e and a. Uh. So you could perhaps just start with a one. You know, this will be easy. Start with a B. I'm doing a B there. Sounds nice. B. So, one E and two E and. Now that's your B at the end. More rhythmic flavor. One, two E and three E and. Back to one. And. One e. Now the E. Uh. the engine is running right I like
try to make some random percussive noises just to make the exercise natural for me i don't want to be counting as much as possible feel don't count dum chak dum chak dum imagine like a train or any engine or any machine which you think comes to your mind immediately chak dum chak dum chak dum dum chak dum chak dum chak at that you know that's the feel i want you to get dum chak dum chak dum chak dum okay so let's get this engine chak dum 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 you don't have to do it that fast i'm just showing you i also call this the gallop slowly look at the left hand it's exactly where we left it we are adding that a uh, one a uh. now you can decide if you want to make that a uh, very soft people will still feel it or if you want to explode it now you kind of groove a bit more when that a uh comes out a little stronger you could also consider playing this whole thing in swing okay now move around back to straight i'm just doing the third of every bass note so g sharp with a b f sharp with a A sharp or a B flat, D flat or C sharp with an F. That's its third. Maybe an E. D with an F sharp. E flat, E. And you can develop some patterns, some harmonic patterns. These are actually chords. So G sharp. F sharp D flat let's stick with that Ah sounds very familiar very movie theme like Okay now the engine is set up isn't it single here and double there or if it gets too fast you can do a 1 is to 4 ratio in the left now you may argue i i'm hitting the as here what about the es well why not one but usually what i like to do with the e is then go to the next ones on like one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one e so one e and a two e and a three or you could even interplay between these two fingers consider things like add a little extra here anyway more on that maybe later when we talk i will do more lessons on ghost notes and other such things there we go so the point i wanted to make was you can also stress on the e one e to e but in this lesson uh, due to the the point of me wanting to come convey something concrete at the end of this lesson i want you to be able to play exactly what i'm telling uh, right so 
yeah so we'll focus more on the a uh embellishment or a uh accent in the right hand so that's the deal that's the engine created so far so let me just show you the melody notes and then let's try to add it with the engine we've already created so the melody is so that's b a sharp f sharp d sharp G sharp, A sharp. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Two and three. One E and a two E and a one E and a two E and a one E and a two E and a three and a four E and a. You can even do one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a. Hold on to that G sharp and a two. I like that F at the end, natural F, white note F. So one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a four E. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a and a four E. A little faster. One E and a two E. This is with without the. Without the engine yet, I'm just trying to bring in the pulse. Keep that. Slowly. I'm stacking in the right hand, as you can see. I'm adding a G sharp sometimes with a D sharp because I think it sounds cool. It finishes off the chord, the E major seventh chord. So, so you could do like a F sharp with the B that spells out a G sharp minor seventh. E, maybe an F sharp. Slowly, the left hand pulse is pu pumping, right? Tan. What I told you in the very beginning, you could try that. Slowly get that. Now the only thing left for the engine and the melody to go together is that one E and a two E and a three, right? So. Let's take that slower. E, F sharp, G sharp minor, E major, E major, little faster. B. I'm singing you the melody. run away from you though you have to really control it something with your voice will definitely help slightly tricky to play that and count with your voice but try it you could also use like a drum backing track Already getting carried away because I'm imagining that drummer, you know, which 
currently is not here but yeah maybe there is a ghost somewhere so you go okay so that's your tune ta na 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 if you want or la da di da 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 let's so without all the fancy engine stuff e e f sharp g sharp the pulse remember with that finger independence challenge pinky and the thumb are different and now with the gallop the a uh of pretty much every beat or feel free to improvise stuff or maybe an existing song right you can go on and on but the whole point of this is once you've got an engine on the piano as we call it you can then utilize that rhythmic idea or that rhythmic framework to then superimpose a melody or just play only the rhythm and it'll be great accompaniment for a singer or another melody instrument which you are working with right guys so let's just recap everything in the lesson first of all we are looking at a very very important finger independence drill for you take a g sharp or pretty much any other note and try to isolate your pinky and the thumb stuff like that g sharp or a flat then we did addition of the us floated it around a bit with the thirds of every left hand note played at the a uh in the right hand right and then that gives us so many fingers free to then bring in a melody keep that if you can it will add more dynamic like feel that engine running you know feel the feel the dynamics so for that maybe you want to make the a uh, bunny a little louder so it really gets it it at least gets me moving whether i like it or not i have to move and i think it will then if i'm moving it's also going to get your audience to move uh, or vibe with the music and this is not really a piano thing the the idea of playing the a uh, bit louder or making a specific note louder it's it's what all musicians do it's a very common drum thing very common percussion thing very guitar like so very lot of people do that to to create that pumping effect or that that engine like vibe you know see that's with the a uh, little louder but without the a uh, being loud you could challenge yourself at different volumes you know can you do the engine super soft like this i think i'm still doing the engine right it's really soft then can do it even at a loud volume and in some in most cases you see how the pinky and the thumb is isolated then we brought in a tune uh, i hope you like that tune if not you can pretty much play your own tune but within the confines or the limitations of what you can do because one finger is taken up for the engine and the other other fingers can play a melody so that's about the lesson guys hope you found it useful and practice it hard you can also uh these days a lot of students are tagging me on instagram with their uh, recording so you could consider doing that as well uh, i'm at jason zack or you can tag our music school which is at nathaniel school and when you tag i will definitely give it a listen and also will uh, will be happy to give it a share as well and um, 
you can also go to our website for more detailed lessons on hand independence and on our website we've put a category called free tutorials which are all our youtube lessons filtered really well and also you have a members only area on our website which is the same as the youtube members area where you get some of the more detailed lessons more structured lessons uh, which you can also follow if you'd like on theory ear training beginner piano and intermediate piano and some advanced stuff as well do consider supplementing your learning with our patreon channel and um, you can download a pdf backing tracks whenever applicable of all our lessons cheers catch you in the next one